thought you weren't vlogging. When did I say that? Oh, you're right. I did say that. I said you were vlogging. Yeah, you're right. You're absolutely right. I did say that. But I changed my mind this morning. Uh, newsflash. I'm human. I'm a really tired human. I'm a really exhausted human. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. My name is Eli, and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I am filming the seventh episode of the Waiting for the White Coat series. I have fixed prosthodontics lecture and lab, so come along with me for a day in the life of a dental student. If you're new to the channel, my name is Eli, and I'm a second year dental student at Boston University Goldman School of Dental Medicine. On this channel, I make vlogs with my dental school journey, as well as videos with advice for pre-dental students. So if that's something that interests you, please make sure you subscribe to the channel, share it with anyone else that might find it interesting, like the video, comment under the video, et cetera, et cetera. Now let's get into the vlog. So if this is your first time tuning into the channel, I'm doing a series where I count down to my white coat ceremony. And every Sunday at 11 a.m. EST, I upload a new dental school vlog, which is part of the Waiting for the White Coat series. And this is episode seven. Today, I have just class at 9 a.m., Fixed Prosthodontics Lecture, and I have Fixed Prosthodontics Lab at 1 p.m. And I wanna bring you guys with me because in lab, we're gonna be doing some new things like learning how to treat an endodontically treated tooth with a post and core. And we've been working on three unit bridges, which is our final exam in the lab for fixed prosthodontics. So I wanna bring you guys along with some new stuff compared to what you've been seeing me do in fixed prosthodontics lab. And I also realized that I only have one class next week. So there isn't much to film next week for the Winnie in the White Coat episode. So today is Friday, May 28th. You all will see this episode on Sunday, June 4th. But why not film today? So it's currently 8 o'clock, 7.57 a.m. I'm eating breakfast. I have class at 9 a.m. So I'm going to be headed out the door soon. Um, but I'm excited for today's vlog. Hope to, hope to bring you guys some new stuff, et cetera, et cetera. Man, I will say this school thing has been getting tiring. I'm so ready for July. Well, to be fair, after today, I do have a five day weekend, so I shouldn't be complaining too much. But still, like, I'm just tired of going to school, man. Everyone is on break. We don't even get a spring break. So like, I'm just tired, dog. But you know, I'm not gonna do too much complaining. I'm on my way to school now. About to sit in lecture for who knows how long, but we gonna get it done. All right, I had to find some shade because the lighting on my camera has been acting real funny. But um, I'm out of class, it's 11 o'clock. I'm about to hop on the bus and go home. Lab starts at one, so I'm gonna go home, eat, iron my scrubs, put my scrubs on, and be on my way back to school. So I'll see y'all at home. I am home, and I'm about to eat some lunch. It's an early-ish lunch, it's 11.20 right now, but I'm trying to be efficient with my time because I have to go back to school by one o'clock for a uh, lab. So I'm just eating some chicken and rice. My meal prep is holding up. I just cooked on Tuesday. Um, so I'm about to heat some of that up, relax for a little bit, iron, change, all that good stuff. And I'll be headed back to school. Um, yeah, and to today in lecture and fixed lecture, we just went over uh, posting cores for like endo treated teeth, which is what we're gonna be doing in lab. And then we also went over like soldering for um, fixed prosthodontics. Um, kind of not the most interesting stuff, not gonna lie. But I am excited to learn like how to do a post and core. I was always wondering like when we're gonna learn that because I know we're gonna have to do that in the clinic um, when August comes. And we hadn't learned it yet and it's already almost June. So definitely was wondering when that was coming along. Um, but lab should be exciting or, you know, pretty cool to watch. Um, I'm going to record a little bit, probably do like a voiceover type of thing. Maybe record just like a few minutes of footage and, um, yeah, do the voiceover for the vlog. Um, but today is like a really short day and I was looking, I'm like looking at my schedule for the upcoming weeks because I'm trying to figure out like, you know, when am I going to record future episodes? Um, because like I had it all figured out at first, but I didn't plan this far ahead. I'm not gonna lie. So next week 
I have I literally only have class on Thursday. Monday is Memorial Day. Tuesday we don't we really don't have class on Tuesdays anymore at all. Wednesday our lecture got canceled because we didn't need to have the class. Um, we have operative dentistry on Wednesdays and that class is over. Um, Thursday I have my biomaterials final at oh that's not until 3 p.m. Well, I have mandatory radiology lecture at 8 a.m., treatment planning at 1 p.m., biomaterials final at 3 p.m. And then Friday, I'm off school. I'm going home for my Lion Brothers wedding, so that should be a good, much-needed break from Boston and from school. Um, the week after that, I have three classes on Monday, no class on Tuesday, one class Wednesday, one class Thursday, and then fix Fridays. The week after that, I'm off almost the entire week. So yeah, after that, like, you know, time is rolling and you know, soon it's gonna be a white coat ceremony. So I'm sitting here thinking like, what are the next episodes gonna be? So this is episode seven, which will be coming out Sunday, June 4th. Episode eight, which comes out on Sunday, June 11th, will probably be like a day off from dental school. So. I'll definitely still be going to the lab. Like I said, we have a final exam and fixed on June 23rd. So I'll be preparing for that for sure. Um, but I probably won't have classes. The lab, I mean, the episode after that, which would be Sunday, June 18th. No idea. No idea. Because I, I literally barely have school in June. No idea what that's going to be. But I'm going to figure it out before the time comes. Um, after that. Definitely will be like a CAD CAM lecture or something like that. I mean, CAD CAM lab or something. I don't know. And then like that'll be the end of the series. The finale will definitely be like a white coat movie. But the series will end on Sunday, July 2nd, I believe is the date. Um, And then my white coat ceremony is Friday, July 7th. There will not be an episode on Sunday, July 9th. I'm just letting y'all know that now. Instead, I'm going to do like some kind of movie for White Coat Weekend for like Friday, Saturday, Sunday when like my family and friends come in town and everything. And um, that'll come out sometime in July, but I'm definitely going to take a little more time to like edit that and get that figured out before releasing it. So we'll see where, this, where the uh, series is heading. I don't know if I mentioned this before, but... Uh, I'm, I was waiting until like the middle of the episode to mention this because this is for like the real, the real people that tapped in. I got some really good news and because I got some really good news, I'm doing a giveaway. So this is what I'm going to do. The first three people to share the like, it doesn't even really have to be this video. You can share like the channel. You can share a thumbnail for one of like your favorite videos. It doesn't even matter. Share it on your Instagram story and tag me so I can see it. The first three people, I'm going to cash at. Let's see. Zion Rich. All right, let's, let's do $10. It's free lunch. Free lunch, free dinner, whatever. Free Chipotle with inflation. Who even really knows? But first three people that repost anything from the channel onto their story after this episode comes out will be cash apped when i see you repost it and tag me you gotta tag me so i can see it when i see it i'm gonna message you ask you for your cash app and i'll immediately send the cash app pretty easy but i had to put it right in the middle so the people that watch like the first five minutes and go don't get that you know what i'm saying so i know if you watch this far you really be watching my videos and stuff claps to you i thank you here's a monetary thank you for sharing the videos so anyway i'm hungry i'm gonna eat and i'll see y'all in a little bit. all right 12 15 I'm headed back out the house. I'm gonna walk to school. Hopefully I don't be break too bad of a sweat in these f freaking gray scrubs, but um, yeah, I'm gonna walk to school and just get some fresh air. It's some pretty nice weather outside, 68 degrees. So yeah, 
I'll see y'all when I get to school. So as I mentioned early in the vlog, today's fixed prosthodontics lab session involved us learning how to do a post and core on an endodontically treated tooth. Now, don't worry, I'm gonna break it down in layman's terms like I always do because I hate when people use dental jargon with people who wouldn't really understand what you're talking about. So, when I say an endodontically treated tooth, I mean a tooth that has had a root canal performed on it already. So, our fixed prosthodontics instructor instructed us to bring our old type of dots from our endodontics class that we used to use to do root canals in endodontics and that we would use these teeth to do a post and core on. So a post and core is essentially like building the tooth up when there's not enough tooth structure. That way you can put a crown over top of the tooth structure that was already there that you did a root canal on. Now, as you may or may not know, Doing a root canal doesn't really involve that much of the crown of the tooth, which is the part of the tooth you actually see in the mouth. It involves the root, which for most people is in their gums, but not always. And um, you can do a root canal without much intact tooth structure on a tooth. Now, is that a great idea? Mm, it depends. Some people really want to keep their teeth, while others would be like, ah, just pull the tooth. It's probably cheaper to just pull the tooth and some people really don't care all that much or they plan to get dentures one day or an implant or whatever it may be. In the case that you have a patient that wants to keep the tooth, what you would do is perform the root canal and then you would do a posting core. So what we had to do was first remove some of the gutta percha, which is like the filling that you put on a root canal because when you're doing a post and core, the post part goes into the root, which currently is filled with gutta, gutta percha. In real life practice, the endodontist would probably only put gutta, gutta percha all the way down in the apex, basically the bottom of the root, and wouldn't even fill it all the way to the um, all the way up to where the crown is because they know that the general dentist will do a post and core on the tooth. However, we did these teeth without knowing we were gonna do a post and core on them later, and we had to fill them all the way to the top. So I had to remove some gutta percha first, and then I started working on my post and core. It's truly not that hard of a concept to grasp. You basically have a prefabricated post, which is like a pre-made post that you put some resin around to basically fit it into the root because you know all roots have different anatomy they're not one size fits all so what we would do was we would put resin around the post which you will see me doing here and then we will fit the post to the root of the tooth so that was probably the mm, i guess the hardest thing to do it's like the rate limiting step for all my people that took chemistry out there. Once you kind of get that down, it's pretty easy. You basically just build up the core of the tooth, um, which you would see me do here. And you basically want to look, make it look similar to a crown or like, the, I mean, sorry, not a crown, similar to a crown prep, like, you know, the shape of a crown prep and like a little bit of taper, basically make it look like a nub. That way you can actually put a crown on top of it and then the patient is happy they kept the tooth or at least what was left of it um, they put a crown on it it's nice and beautiful and the patient leaves within well it's not real but they leave with a prosthetic tooth in their mouth everyone's happy nice smile nice patients happy doctor happy patient you know and yeah that was essentially what we learned how to do and fix prosthodontics today uh newsflash I'm human I'm a really tired human. I'm a really exhausted human. Anyway, that was lab as I thought I saw something on my nose. That was lab. As you can see, I did not stay to do any bridge work because it's 3.30 on Friday and the sun is out and I just like, bro, I had two exams this week. I'm done. I'm, I'm literally done for the week like I can't I'm definitely gonna go to the lab over the weekend or someday over 
between Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, we have all three of those days off. I'll definitely be back in the lab. But um, as you can see from the video, we did a posting core today in Fix Lab. I can now see why they waited this long to teach it to us because it's really not that hard once you grasp the concept. Mm, excuse me. Uh, yeah, so now I'm home. It's 3.30 and as lazy as I really want to be, I did not go to the gym yesterday. So I think I'll be doing that today. Sadly. I'm just joking, not sadly. I like part of me wants to go to the gym, but I do really just want some rest. I want to sleep and stuff. And I'm just exhausted. I'm not feeling I just I'm just not in the mood to do shit. But I'm gonna go because I'm a disciplined person and discipline disciplined people get good things. Um I'm really upset about it though, if you couldn't tell. Like I'm sick about it. Like I really don't want to go. The thing is I don't even I don't even have pre workout. I have non stem pre workout. So I'm really going to have to dig deep. I'm probably going to get like a good self pump up session going in the crib before I leave because I don't know where the energy is going to come from. But I'm going to go. And I think what I'm going to do today, like, I think I'm going to, for, for whatever random reason, I want to deadlift today. Like, I really feel like picking up some heavy weight. I haven't deadlifted in a minute, in a good minute. I was deadlifting a lot at the beginning of the school year when it was still warm out. And then I stopped. But today I want a deadlift, so I think that's what I'm finna do. Um, hopefully the gym's not crowded. It's Friday. See, the thing, this is the thing I miss about going to like a commercial gym. When I used to go to like LA Fitness, Friday afternoon, ain't nobody going to the gym. But now that I go to a gym with people that really be going to the gym, there's gonna be people there on Friday afternoon. That's the one bad part about going to like a serious gym. But anyway, Am I going to, you know what? I'm not going to bring my camera to the gym. I feel like y'all see that all the time. It's, it's like, it doesn't really change all that much. I don't feel like filming, setting up the camera, walking with my stuff. Like I just want to, I just want a gym session to just like relax my mind, clear my head, throw this week in the trash, not throw it in the trash, but like this was, this was just, this was quite the week. I'm not going to lie. Um, so I think I'm going to end the vlog off here. So anyway, thank you all for watching today's episode, um, episode seven of the Waiting for the White Coat series. Remember about the giveaway that I mentioned in the middle of the video. Um, I hope you all got something out of this vlog, some type of entertainment. For everyone that's applying to dental school this cycle, applications opened. This is coming out June 4th, so applications would have opened about a week ago today almost no during the week before today anyway man good luck good luck shout out to everyone that won the spot the scholarship um good luck with your applications i'm wishing you all the best and i hope to see some new school new faces at the school soon also if you're coming to bu and you're watching this see you in orientation peace